Hi everyone, I just wanted to make a quick video to encourage you to download the Microsoft Teams app to your phone. It will work on iOS or Android. Um, so you download the Teams app and then you just put in your username. Now I'm going to put in my test one. Um, so remember it is obviously your login followed by appprospere.org.uk and then you're going to go to sign in and then it will ask you for your password. Oh, not doing it right there. So you pop in your password. The reason why I want to show you this today is because it's really useful to have it on your phone and it runs extremely well on there. So I just want to show you a few quick uh, functions. So because I've logged in for the first time, it's just given me a few messages. So I'm just going to say, got it. Okay, so on my feed, as I log in there, it will have all of my um, messages. So a bit like the post section. Um, on Teams, it's got all of the Teams that I am connected to. It's also got my Files tab. So if I was in, let's see, uh, let's get out of there. So if I was in the Year 10 English team, I've got all of my messages in there from English. So, you know, I can even click on links there. If there's been a video that's been posted, I can click on the video. Let's just test that. And this is me on my rubbish phone with not very good 4G in school. And you can see, actually, it doesn't take long to download a video. So as I was saying before, the camera got off. Milk, it's got connotations of nurture. So that's Miss Morrison's amazing video for year 10 this week, um, explaining how to do some comparison. Um, so, okay, that's in my post section, you can see. I've got files as well. So in files, that's where I would download all my class materials. So we know that this week is week three. Let's say I'm a Green Pathway student. In there, I've got all my lessons and I can just click on those again. They download so quickly. Look how quick that is. And I can just work through my lesson. Dead easy. You know, use my book at home if I want to write things down um, and just work through my lesson in that way. So I'm just going to close that. So that's the file section. If I come out of files, sorry, I'm doing this whilst uh, holding my iPad at the same time. But if I come out of files, I've got an option there for more. Now, in there, you've got your class notebook, which you can access. You've got assignments. So I know that English haven't set any assignments yet, but let's just see if I was in French, for example, and I went into more and I click on assignments. That's actually got all of my assignments in there and I can just click on my assignments um, and I can view my assignments in there. So they should, I don't think that they have got that one linked, but there's one that is linked. So look, you can just click on your assignments. There's your quiz from French last week, you know, and you can fill it all in and then press submit. Um, like I said, you've also got the option of the class notebook in there. Um, so really it's got most of the functionality of the, um, Sorry, it's just frozen a little bit for me now. So it's got most of the functionality of the actual website when you log in. So give it a go, guys. Try it uh, this week um, and see how it works for you. The only thing that I would say is if your teacher has embedded narrations and audio into your PowerPoint, that may not play very well um, through the app. But for everything else, it's great. So give it a go and well done on all of your work on Teams. We're super proud of you.